more than a million people in the United States are living with HIV. Many are unaware of their infection. HIV tests determine if a person has been infected, which can lead individuals to seek treatment that will improve their health and to take precautions that help limit the spread of AIDS. Common HIV tests look for the presence of specific HIV antibodies, which begin to appear somewhere between three weeks and six months after the infection. These antibodies are produced by the immune system to fight infection. The Protein Data Bank Archive, also known as the PDB, includes many 3D structures of different antibodies. Immunoglobulin, IgG, is the most common class. They have a distinctive Y-shaped structure and two binding sites for the antigen molecule it specifically binds. PDB 101, a resource for exploring 3D structures of proteins, DNA, and RNA, offers introductory learning materials about antibodies, such as a molecule of the month, a template for building a paper model of an antibody, and more. HIV tests look for antibodies to the HIV capsid protein, also called P24, both of which are produced in large quantities early in infection. HIV capsid is a cone-shaped structure in the virus that protects the viral genome. The PDB includes many structures of the whole HIV capsid and capsid components, some with attached antibody fragments. The RCSV PDB also contains educational materials about the capsid, a paper model template, and more. Antibodies are one of our major defenses against viruses. They bind to the surface of viruses and block them from infecting cells in a process called neutralization. For instance, this structure from the PDB shows antibodies neutralizing rhinovirus, one of the viruses that cause a common cold. Unfortunately, the proteins on the surface of HIV are coated with carbohydrate chains and are resistant to attack by antibodies. So most people cannot produce effective neutralizing antibodies against HIV. Some people are able to create neutralizing antibodies against HIV, which protects them from further HIV infection. Structures in the PDB have revealed that these broadly neutralizing antibodies act by inserting long fingers through the carbohydrate coat, or by attacking the protein near the membrane surface at the portion involved in cell fusion. By studying these rare antibodies, scientists hope to develop a vaccine that will help protect individuals from HIV infection. Many effective treatments are currently available to disrupt the HIV life cycle in infected individuals. Most of these drugs attack the enzymes made by the virus, reverse transcriptase, protease, and integrase. Molecular structures of these proteins from the PDB have been essential for designing and improving these drugs. Other approaches to treat HIV infection include drugs that block the mechanism that allow the virus to attach to the cell surface and fuse with the cell membrane. Unfortunately, HIV mutates very rapidly and quickly develops resistance against drugs. Currently, the best treatment uses a cocktail of several different drugs, since it is very difficult for the viral population to develop resistance against all of them simultaneously. Many structures in the PDB have revealed how HIV proteins mutate to become resistant and how we can create new drugs to fight this resistance. HIV is a particularly insidious virus as it integrates its genome into the infected cell's genome and can persist in an infected individual even after years of treatment with anti-HIV drugs. This is why it is important that infected individuals adhere to a consistent drug regimen. Researchers are looking for effective ways to fight this dormant form of the virus, such as attacking it with DNA-cutting molecules, like CRISPR-Cas9. Take action! Help promote an understanding of HIV-AIDS at the molecular level by participating in the 2015 RCSB PDB Video Challenge, Detecting and Combating HIV in 3D. Your video can help educate people around the world.